Hello everyone. Namaskar. Let's solve this problem. We have to solve uh, the this set of equations by Gauss Seidel method. Starting with the initial approximations x equals to 2, y equals to 3 and z equals to 0. So how we solve this? There are set of steps. First step is we check whether the uh, coefficient matrix that you will get from this set of equation is diagonally dominant or not. And uh, you can make that adjustment easily just by seeing at particular equation. Let's suppose I am looking at the first equation which is given. Here I see the coefficient of x is highest and because coefficient of x from first equation, coefficient of y from second equation, coefficient of z from third equation will make my diagonal. So I want that to be greatest and also satisfying that inequality that its mod is equal to uh, or greater than the mod of the other two. So as you can see the mod of 5 is greater than mod of coefficient of y which is minus 1 which is 1 simply when you take mod and coefficient of z which is 1. So 5 is greater than 1 plus 1 which is 2 perfectly fine. So we can consider this as equation number 1. Similarly because here the coefficient of y is greatest because coefficient of x is 2 coefficient of z is 0. So you can let this as equation number 2 this as equation number Because if you will make the coefficient matrix, how will it look like? 5, minus 1, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1, 1, 5. As you can see, in uh, the first row, mod of 5 is clearly greater than mod of minus 1 plus mod of 1. In second, mod of 4 is clearly greater than mod of 2 and mod of 0. And in third, mod of 5 is clearly greater than mod of 1 plus mod of 1. This is what the diagonally dominant means. And because we made our equations, it was already in that order. Uh, lucky for us. Uh, so let's move to the step number 2. What is the step number 2? There also, they have uh, already given some uh, uh, they have already done some tasks otherwise we would have started with uh, initial uh, guess of y and z as 0 so as we can find x but the second step is from the first equation write x in terms of other things so from the first equation I can write my x as 1 upon 5 10 plus y minus z from the second I can write my y as 1 upon 4 12 minus 2x and my z as 1 by 5 minus 1 minus x minus y. Can I move to iterations now? So if you let this as equation number 1, 2 and 3. So iteration number 1, for iteration number 1, first we find the value of x. So I write x and in power I write bracket 1. This denotes that the value of x in first iteration. How will I find that? I will use this first equation. I have y and z there. That y and z I will use what is given initially in uh, for the initial approximation so i will use y as 3 and z as 0 because i don't know other values of y till now so 1 by 5 10 y as 3 and z as 0 so i am leaving that because minus 0 is not right so this is i am getting as 13 by 5 which will be 0 0.26 cited i like to use calculator even for the simple set of calculations so this is giving me 2.60 sorry 2.60 okay now is the because this is a gauss seidel method okay so we always use the updated value so when calculating the first approximation for y i will first go to the equation for y 12 and here i have 2x 
I will not use this value of x because this was older value. I have got a recent value which is 2.60. I will have to use that. So minus 2 into 2.60. Let's calculate this. So I have 1 by 4 and inside that I have 12 minus 2 times 2.60 this is coming out to be 1.70 okay you can write short 1.7 also 1.7000 now Uh, for z value for the first iteration again minus uh, sorry 1 by 5 minus on which value of x I will use I will use the recent value which is 2.60 which value of y I will use I will use the recent value which is minus uh, minus sign is there and 1.7 so this is giving me One by five and inside I have minus of one minus of two point six zero minus of one point seven zero. This is minus one point zero six. Because zeros are being followed, so I am not writing those. If other values would have been there, because I have fixed my calculator for uh, now, I think uh, three five, seven uh, decimal points. Okay, so accordingly, I will get so I have got my first iteration value. Now uh, I will move to the second iteration. So iteration number two. Iteration number two. Uh, let me see up to how many decimal points. Up to three decimal points they have given in the their solution. So yes, I will take care of that. Uh, this is iteration number two. So the value of x for the second iteration will be one by five. And I have 10, y value I will use as 1.70, z value I will use as minus minus plus 1.06. So what I am getting? 1 by 5, 10 plus 1.70. Two point five five two. Y value for second approximation will be one by four. Twelve minus two times x, and which value of x I will use? The recent one. So this is one by four, and. Uh, Inside, I have 12 minus 2 times 2.552. So, this is 1.724. Now, Z value for second approximation will be 1 by 5 minus 1 minus of x that means minus of 2.552 minus of y that means minus of 1.724 let's calculate this so i have this uh, 1 by 5 
and inside that I have minus 1 minus 2.552 minus 1.724 and I have what what I have got minus 1.0552 okay third iteration let's do it here iteration number three uh, can I match let's see if uh, they are matching or not so after two iterations the value of x is not matching even till one decimal place value of y is matching till one decimal place value of z is matching to till one decimal place okay so i will have to work more so value of x for third iteration will be 1 by 5 10 plus value of y in the previous iteration was 1.724 minus z so minus minus plus 1.0552 so this is a 10 plus 1.724 plus 1.0552 this is coming out to be 2.55584 followed by three zeros which I am not writing value of y for the third iteration will be 1 by 4 12 minus 2 times x which is 2.55584 so let's calculate this uh, so I have 1 by 4 and inside that I have 12 minus 2 times uh, 2.55584. So I am getting 1.72208. Value of Z for the third iteration will be 1 by 5 minus 1 minus x which is 2.55584 I am using always the recent values minus of y which is 1.72208 and this I am getting as 1 by 5 and inside that I am getting minus 1 minus 2.55584 minus of 1.72208 and I am getting this as negative of 1.055584 if I match third, second and third attrition value then uh, the value of x is matching till two decimal points value of y is matching to two decimal points again value of z is matching to three decimal points okay i will be happy with this value of z but not with the value of x and y so let's go for one more iteration so iteration number four iteration number four is what we are focusing on you can approximate the value from there but let's do one more iteration to have more clear idea of so fourth iteration it will be one by five and inside that i have 10 and plus y minus z so plus y value is 1.72208 minus of z that means plus 1.055584 so let's do this i have 1 by 5 which i have already got and 10 plus 1.72208 
प्लस ऑफ वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव 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 एट फोर एंड दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी टू पॉइंट फाइव 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 थ्री टू एट जीरो वैल्यू ऑफ वाई फॉर दिस फोर्थ आइटेशन विल बी वट वॉज दैट ट्वेल्व माइनस टू एक्स वन बाय फोर ट्वेल्व माइनस टू फाइव 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 थ्री टू एट जीरो आई हैव वन बाय फोर एंड इन साइड दैट आई हैव ट्वेल्व माइनस टू टाइम्स टू पॉइंट फाइव 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 थ्री टू एट जीरो एंड दिस इज गिविंग मी वन पॉइंट सेवन टू 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 थ्री थ्री सिक्स जीरो मीन वाइल आई एम ऑल्सो मैचिंग सो टू पॉइंट फाइव 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 ओके एक्स वैल्यू इज मैचिंग टिल थ्री डेसिमल प्लेसेस फाइन वाई वैल्यू टिल नॉ इज मैचिंग अगेन यस वाई वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो मैचिंग एंड जेड वैल्यू ऑफकोर्स दैट कैन मैच Let's see. Uh, I think it was one by five. Let me guess. Minus one, minus x, minus y. Let's see. Yes. So minus of x two point five 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 three two eight zero. I am collecting all the values so that I can get the better result. I think this will be the last. nail in the coffin so i have one by five and inside that i have minus one minus two point five 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 three two eight zero minus one point seven two 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 three three six zero and the value i've got is minus 1.055553288 now if i match again this is matching till four decimal places I have become even more accurate uh okay fine Uh, the value of x which i have got in my answer sheet is 2.556 i will check for that and 1.722 fine and minus 1.055 so what they uh, do actually is uh, sometimes they uh, like uh, round off things okay so they might have written this as uh, the value of x is 2.556 value of y is same 1.722 and z is minus 1.055 fine and this is correct up to 3 and you can write rounded off 3 decimal places